Hi there! Thanks for joining in and welcome to Code Box. In this tutorial, we will walk through how to create a barebones CMS with PHP and MySQL. If you want to follow along, the code download is on the Code Box website. Link in the description box below. Step 1. The database. In this example, we will create a very simple contents table with only three fields. The ID, primary key and auto increment. The title of the content, indexed. Lastly, the content text itself, also indexed. Step 2. With the database in place, we now create a PHP content library to manage it. First, we set the constructor to connect to the database when the object is created. Then, set the destructor to disconnect from the database. Define the database settings. Create the content object itself. With that, we now have a base library that connects to the database. Let us create a save function to add and update contents. Do a quick test to verify it. Moving forward, we create a corresponding load function to fetch the contents. Lastly, do a quick verification again. Step 3. With the library in place, we can now create a page to save and update the contents.
First, load the library. To simplify this example, we will fix the content ID to 1 for now. Fetch the content from the database. Then, output the HTML content form. There is nothing special here, just the title and text fields. Lastly, we will use the library to save the content when the form is submitted. Step 4. Display content. For this step, we simply use the library and fetch content from the database. Similar to the previous step, we will fix the ID to 1 for now. Lastly, Simply output the title and content text. At this stage, we have covered the basic mechanics of a CMS. But some of you may be wondering how to work with multiple pages. This is difficult to cover as everyone has a different requirement. Some may only have a fixed number of customizable pages. Some may load multiple entries for a single page. And some others may want a full-fledged CMS like WordPress. To keep things simple, here is a quick example of how managing multiple pages can be done. First, we add a few more dummy pages. Then, create another get all function in the library. Using the new function, we will create a new page to list all the contents. Generate links to the save content page, but append an ID behind. Change the save content page to adapt the ID from the get variable. On the display content page, we can also adapt the ID from the get variable. That's all for a barebones CMS, 
but there are many missing parts. In particular, you will want to use a good HTML editor instead of a raw text field. A popular option is TinyMCE. If you do not already have a login system, check out the tutorial on Codebox. Also, if you want a nice URL for the custom pages, that will involve URL rewrite. Check out the tutorial on Codebox. All the links are in the description box below. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.